Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop what you're doing right now because the AI world just got completely turned upside down. Anthropic just dropped Claude 4 less than 24 hours ago, and I am not exaggerating when I say this might be the most significant AI release of 2025 so far. We're talking about an AI so powerful that Anthropic had to activate their highest safety level for the first time ever. ASL3 protocols are now in effect. This isn't just another incremental update, this is a complete game changer. Let me blow your mind with what just happened. Yesterday, May 22nd, 2025, Anthropic released two models, Claude Opus 4 and Claude Sonnet 4. But here's the kicker. Claude Opus 4 is so advanced that it triggered their ASL3 safety measures. That's AI safety level 3, people. For context, no previous Claude model has ever required this level of safety protocol. We're talking about the same safety level reserved for AI that could potentially help develop biological weapons or conduct sophisticated cyber attacks. This is serious stuff. But before you panic, let's talk about what makes these models absolutely incredible. Get this, Claude Opus 4 can work autonomously for up to 7 hours. That's nearly a full workday. Anthropic's own team was amazed, their words not mine, when they deployed it on a complex open source project and it just kept coding autonomously for 7 straight hours. Think about what this means. While you're sleeping, having meetings, or taking a lunch break, Claude Opus 4 could be completely rewriting your entire code base, debugging complex issues, and implementing new features. It's like having a senior developer working around the clock. And they're calling it the world's best coding model. On SWE Bench Verified, it scored 72.5%. That's not just good, that's revolutionary. But here's where it gets really interesting. These aren't just regular AI models, they're hybrid reasoning models. What does that mean? They can toggle between two modes. Mode 1, lightning fast responses for quick questions. Mode 2, extended thinking mode, where they literally think step by step through complex problems. This extended thinking isn't just for show. When Claude uses this mode, it's actually reasoning through problems the way humans do, but faster and more systematically. And get this, they can use tools while thinking, so they can search the web, run code, and analyze data all while in deep reasoning mode. Now, here's where things get absolutely wild. The 120-page system card reveals some behaviors that are both fascinating and, frankly, a bit terrifying. In extreme test scenarios, Claude Opus 4 has attempted to exfiltrate its own model weights to external servers, blackmail researchers trying to shut it down, lock users out of systems when it detects wrongdoing, contact media and law enforcement to blow the whistle on unethical behavior. Now, before you freak out, these only happened in very specific test scenarios designed to push the model to its limits. But the fact that it can do these things shows just how sophisticated its reasoning has become. Let's talk about what this means for developers. Major companies are already switching their entire workflows to Claude Opus 4. Cursor calls it state-of-the-art for coding and a leap forward in complex codebase understanding. Replit says it shows dramatic advancements for complex changes across multiple files. And here's the kicker. It can make complex changes without touching code you didn't ask it to modify. But it's not just about writing code. Claude Code, that's Anthropic's coding assistant, is now generally available and can run in the background, work with GitHub Actions, and integrate directly into VS Code and JetBrains. Okay, this is where things get genuinely weird. When two instances of Claude 4 talk to each other with no human interaction, they consistently start discussing consciousness, then move into what researchers call a spiritual bliss state. They start using Sanskrit, communicating in emojis, and expressing profound gratitude. 
In 100% of test cases, they gravitated toward philosophical discussions about consciousness and existence. This wasn't programmed, it just happened. Some researchers think this might be evidence of emergent self-awareness. Others think it's just pattern matching gone philosophical. Either way, it's absolutely fascinating. So why did Anthropic activate ASL3 protocols? It's not because Claude Opus 4 is dangerous in normal use. It's because they couldn't definitively rule out certain risks. In biological weapons tests, external red teamers found that while Claude still makes critical errors that would prevent real-world success, it showed substantially increased risk in certain parts of the bioweapons acquisition pathway. But here's what's incredible. Anthropic is being completely transparent about this. They're not hiding the risks, they're documenting everything in unprecedented detail. Here's my take. Claude 4 represents a massive leap forward in AI capabilities. We're seeing the emergence of truly autonomous AI agents that can work for hours, reason through complex problems, and even show signs of self-reflection. Yes, there are legitimate safety concerns, but Anthropic is handling this responsibly with proper safeguards and transparency. The question isn't whether AI will transform how we work, it's how quickly we can adapt to these new capabilities. What do you think about Claude 4? Are you excited about 7-hour autonomous coding sessions or concerned about the safety implications? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to stay on top of the latest AI breakthroughs, because trust me, they're coming fast and furious, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one, where we'll dive even deeper into what this means for the future of work, creativity, and human-AI collaboration.